by Goldsmith on the beat. This is a song called Cold Light. There's a world in my way And I can't find the faith to take it down But there's a lot still at stake that's all I can say now There's a weight in my hands And I can't stop the sand from shaking out So I get deeper and deeper Deeper and deeper an oath inside your mouth and a soul to settle down but I'm no fool I've no fear and I've no foul There's a dusk on the lock but the clock keeps a click till morning comes And in the mist there's a truth But it shifts and it moves on There's a voice in my head Stops me dead just before I get it right But I'm getting closer and closer Closer to cold light Performed in the Beat Studio, the track is Cold Light, performed by Beck Goldsmith. Thank you very much indeed for that. 
Thanks for having me in. The album is out. Hooray. <laughs> it's it's actually, finally here. Yeah, we can buy it and everything. You can. Because the last time you were here, before Christmas, we were, we were living in anticipation of it. So what's it, <laughs> how does it feel to actually have it out there now? It feels great. Um, but it feels also kind of... It, it's not like this all bells and whistles sort of launch. It's a real sort of quiet starter, I think. And um, that's really, it feels right for the album. It's just finding its own level. It's, um, yeah, uh, it's just so great that it's finally available. <laughs> it's won you a lot of new fans. I hope so. <laughs> well, it has. I mean, Dermot O'Leary on Radio 2 has been playing, hasn't he? He has, so, yeah. 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 No, In fact, Radio true. 2 seems to be, the, it is the Beck Goldsmith fan club, it would seem. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, uh, Desert Island Disc also, I guess. So yeah. Got it, got it kind of covered. <laughs> I know. For people who don't know that story, do you want to explain how you came to be featured on Desert Island Disc? Because it is an, uh, an incredible story. Yeah, it was all quite random, really. Um, I just did a track uh, with my friend John Dix, um, which ended up getting featured on a trailer for the BBC drama The Village. Um, and it was a cover of the hymn I've had to thee, my country, but done in a kind of contemporary folk style. And it was picked up by um, Claire Balding. She absolutely loved it. And it became one of her Desert Island discs, which was kind of incredible. <laughs> just out of nowhere, it just, yeah, came to be. How did it feel listening to the radio and hearing Claire saying that it was one of her 10 essential tunes that she'd take away with her? I actually didn't know what was going to happen. And oh. I was um, working with a, a kind of disability arts collective and um, I started getting messages through from my um, sort of friends and family saying, oh my gosh, we just heard you on Desert Island Disc. So we kind of put the radio on quickly. And uh, yeah, it was, it was featured then, which was just amazing. Now, when we, t we talk about... I keep saying the album. We should do the title, shouldn't we? You, you do it far better than I. Go on. It's called Luster and Curve. It is called Luster and Curve. And the songs on there, when we listen to them, they feel like a coherent collection. Good. <laughs> was, I mean, was was that the actual idea? Was it, was it... Because it's not a concept album, but it does feel like they all belong together from a particular uh, snapshot of your life, almost, really. Yeah, it happened pretty organically because um, I was experimenting with other kind of traditional songs and cover versions of things. And, and from there, I just started writing again, um, sort of out of the blue. And so I think because they were written over quite a short space of time, they are similar thematically and um, I definitely felt like once they started to come together I, I wanted to have a shape to the album where I actually in my mind had it as as being on vinyl so there's kind of a side A and a side B yeah. um, so I wrote an awful lot of songs and then selected the ones that really gave that that kind of shape and structure so it was it was considered in the um, the final track listing I, I, I felt wanted to belong all together and because it was over sh such a short space of time but it, it wasn't considered in a mm, I'm not going to write an album like this <laughs> When you perform gigs is it still you on your own some these days or do you, have, you, have you gone down the route of getting a, a band to perform with? I love playing with a band it's brilliant but um, it just really depends on the gig There's, um, I've done quite a lot of very intimate um, sort of small sets um, on my own which has been um, kind of a challenge for me getting back into playing on my own again you feel very exposed and mm. because the album is so kind of big and lush um, I really felt like I wanted to um, sort of swim in that sound live and that's just not possible when you're on your own so you have to kind of um, uh, deliver it in a very different way I suppose but so I've been doing it some duo with John again um, and then I'm working up some full band gigs. Because of the emotions that you touch upon on the, on the album, it, it, you know, it is an evocative album. Have you had any feedback from people who say this particular track means something to them? It's always really interesting when people pick up on tracks and um, kind of explain how they've interpreted it because I think I write things in a way that is intimate and personal to me but that is also deliberately quite ambiguous um, so that it, it's not telling someone how to think or feel but that they can take what they want to away from that um, so if somebody does then connect in their own way with it it's fascinating to see what they've read into it and what they're emotionally responding to in, in the music and in the lyrics um, and sometimes it can be quite different to, to what you've intended but that's great you know it, it then has its own space and it, it takes on its own life which is great. Is that partly because you want to disguise your actually or you're singing <laughs> about your emotions and your feelings but you don't actually want to wear them totally on your sleeve? <laughs> I wonder, I wonder, <laughs> not, not consciously. It's not an answer but, uh, back, is it? <laughs> <laughs> you tell me, dude, I don't know. Um, I suppose it's more that um, 
I think I don't know quite how I feel about something until mm. I've written about it. And actually then listening back to a song, I'm like, all right, that that's really kind of, I feel it, it is exposed, but also it's not because I haven't got in my head one specific thing and an idea of it. I'm not then putting that straight onto paper. So I'm kind of writing around a subject and it, those threads kind of, kind of come together um but still fairly ambiguous by the end but for me i then read it back and particularly the lyrics i'm like oh i never knew i felt like that <laughs> <laughs> it's lovely to have you here thank you so much for calling in and the album it's, it's one of my favorites i listen to it over and over again congratulations on the album if people want to find you online to check out the gigs download the album all the rest of it where's the best place to go on betgoldsmith.co.uk and i'm also on facebook and twitter thanks for calling in and you're going to do another track for us now what will this one be we'll do uh, this is drawn to the storm Drawn to the storm I am foolish and withdrawn I'm worried of no courage Have no strength to go on But you beat every rain cloud Dark by the stars are blinking through the fog And your kisses melt like wishes of comfort for a heart That you shelter with your warm hands around Every rain 